while waiting for Witcher 4, or maybe you are waiting for um, Netflix crap series another season, that means you have hunger for Witcher. Uh, I mean story and adventure, not just Witcher. CD Projekt Red choose to add new game to the Witcher series beside Thronebreaker and again it has something related to Gwent and even more than Thronebreaker. So if you don't like Gwent then probably you don't gonna play this game anyway, but maybe you are here to listen about what is it. The story is short and quite basic, but if you are in Witcher lore then it still can be interesting for you, because our main character here is Alzur, who travels together with Liliana. Both of them are mages and they are traveling through Portal 2 map full of battles and treasures to reach main goal which is boss that contains mutagenes, needed for going further with story. You're gonna ask, what? Mutagenes? Wait a minute! Isn't that used for making Witcher and also for making stuff for them in Witcher games? And yes, you are correct. Star of Gwent, Mage, Renegade, takes around 100 years before Geralt and other Witcher's adventures begins. Conjections of the spheres that happen spawn monsters and beasts that beg in hunt over humans and start being serious problem. Young Alzur chooses to use his wisdom and power to find and create weapons that will gonna solve the problem. This weapon will be Witcher's, of course. Mage wanna collect mutagenes from powerful beasts and study them in order to make his goal happen. Our role is to allow him to do that. Mage Renegade is mixed of roguelike with card game. Map is full of places and not every road connects to the same place. But all roads connect to the main boss. We have to plan our path to the final boss with that idea in mind. Along journey, mostly we're gonna fight with different type of enemies, which results in different type of decks to beat. As reward, we can choose two options. Add one card from three or remove one card from our deck. Also, sometimes we can happen to find elite encounters where we have stronger opponents with more powerful decks and also cooler rewards. We can evolve our key card, which is a deck base, or choose some special card that give you passive bonuses or bonuses that you need to activate by using the card. Anyways, beside battle, we can find treasure chest with special cards, also these altars with which are sign symbols that can give us some upgrades, like making card stronger, duplicate card or get rid of card. And also, if we don't want to use these bonuses, we can choose option to boost our energy. But I will talk about it later. Last type of things are events, and they are quite tricky. With some text we have explanation what's happening, and then we have some options to choose. In few cases you can get some bonuses or good cards, but mostly... It's a trap! If you play online Gwen, the beside few cards there is nothing different from basic version and creators mark the game a single player additional to the original title. If you didn't have a chance to play Gwent, I will explain it kinda quick. Both players have two rows to place their cards on. All cards have its base power and abilities, because lack of ability is also ability. Some of skills can boost your cards, Summon other cards or allows you to attack in different ways enemy cards. Main goal is to have biggest number of cards power in total. But it's cool, in our battle we can use Azur and Liana power to achieve victory. Azur can use spells and Liana have ability to reuse any spell or destroy it card, but only once in battle but we can't use spells all the time, because they consume energy. While starting new round, we're gonna have up to 50 points, but also there is a method to have it more at the beginning. Problem of energy is that you can only replenish it by visiting altars. 
So using too many spells can make our Azur useless in later progress. Especially if you're gonna empty yourself at the start of the game. After die we're gonna get experience points that allow us to obtain new cards, new decks and new bonuses that we can use for new run. So, if this all make game worth anything? First of all, game is kinda cheap because 10 bucks isn't gonna ruin your wallet. Second thing is that people compare this game heavily to the famous Slay the Spire. But this is where I think ignorance is. Because there is much more games like Slay the Spire, or using similar mechanism. You can even find many of these games in my indie games presentations. So I don't feel like Went, Mage Renegade is that copy. Or rather, they use Slay the Spire as a good inspiration. Another problem is that people are complaining that game have a lack of promotion. And of course I understand, but if there will be promotion and money put on it, then final product we're gonna have a higher price. There is not so many enemies with various decks. It's roguelike game, so often you will gonna have fight with same enemies and same decks, but with little bit of randomness. Don't get me wrong, there is more than few types of enemies, but it's still too small number, because with every new run, you often happen to meet them. Also, what I can agree on is fights are not that balanced, because it's cool that fights are kinda tough and you have to use your big brain a lot, but sometimes without using spells it's not available to win standard battles. And as I mentioned before, you can easily get rid of energy like that. Again, if you like Gwent, you will gonna probably spend some time in the game and have fun. And again, if you don't like Gwent, then there is a small chances that you will gonna have good fun. But to be fair, I happen to read comments that some people doesn't wanna play normal Gwent, but Mage Renegade was fun for them. And probably because there is lack of that pressure and push toward being better player against each other, probably. You can play, experiment, fail, and you don't lose anything besides some time at all. But still, everyone gives you experience both in game, like in real life. So that was everything, and thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this, and for more reviews, and see ya, bye.